guys? Look, I just want to jump on here because yesterday I was speaking at Watson Realty Corp in the town of Tioga Center and we had a really great time, very engaged group. But somebody in that group had asked me, you know, hey Colin, if you have not been a social media person, if you haven't been on any platform, what platform would you start with today? And uh, I thought it was a really interesting question. And, you know, it's funny because now that I've had a chance to reflect on it, I'll get like my answer to her was LinkedIn. Like that was my answer. I'm like, okay, LinkedIn, because, you know, the uh, especially if I'm a realtor, the ability to get a lot of organic reach is great for um, LinkedIn. And there's a ton of business professionals on there. Get in there, start building relationships, start commenting on other people's posts, start making your own content, and you're gonna be able to see people's second degree connections, third degree connections, and you're gonna be able to like really start to build your network. So I thought LinkedIn uh, was a great answer. Um, and, but you know what, like, and it is for a real, real estate agent, there's definitely a lot of opportunity connecting with business professionals. Those people own houses, those people own commercial real estate. So that is a solid answer. But I just wanted to remind everybody, you know, it, you always have to like really think through like where your audience is, right? Like who is your audience? You know, a lot of people ask me about Snapchat. They're like, do I need to be on Snapchat, Colin? I'm like, well, you know, I think it's a good idea to understand how Snapchat you like works, um, because it like could be a platform that's going to age up, and it has, and all platforms age up. I tell everybody, remember, Facebook was for college students. Like I used to have a ufl.edu email address just to access Facebook in 2004. Um, so the platforms will age up. Um, but you know, do you need to be spending all your time on Snapchat as a real estate agent? Probably not, um, because it is still heavy college students. But for me at New Scooters for Less and my team here at New Scooters for Less, using Snapchat to build relationships with college students is a great idea. Um, that's why my Snapchat code, you know, let, let me show you don't go anywhere. Like this, right? Hold on, this is Oh, there it is. Uh, this is my business card for New Scooters for Less, right? It's my Snapchat code. So, you know, uh, so you got to really know your audience. You always have to know who is buying your service, your product, uh, reverse engineer them, where are they spending their time, and, and definitely go build those relationships there. Um, and then my other answer is like really like you gotta love the platform that you're on you know I, I would say snapchat I'm like hey if you're selling scooters to college students maybe snapchat's a good idea but if you absolutely hated the platform then maybe it's not right you have to enjoy social media um, or you need to find somebody who does uh, you know like I don't necessarily enjoy Twitter as a platform personally um, I'm investing more time in there because I want to understand it better and I, and I actually want to enjoy it, but I find myself always going to other platforms because I enjoy Instagram much more. I enjoy LinkedIn much more. So, you know, if you don't enjoy using the platforms, then what's going to happen is you're going to look at social media as like this to do thing. Like, oh my gosh, like I know I need to do this for my business. Let me go and do this. Check it off the box, you know, check that box off the list, that task. And you can't treat social media as a task because um, it just doesn't help you grow. It doesn't help your strategy um, as a business or a personal brand. So don't ever treat social media as like, check, it's done. You know, find, find a platform that you actually enjoy and get in there and start building relationships and focus on that, building the relationships because that's the only thing that matters in life, guys is the relationships. Those relationships are uh, what lead. For me, every opportunity, every deal, um, every lead, every speaking engagement, everything that has happened has happened because of relationships, and including sales of scooters. Like, all happens because we build relationships. Um, so stop hard selling your product and shoving your agenda, your, your product, sales, service agenda down people's throats and actually start focusing on building those relationships. So thanks for tuning in and watching this five minute video. I love you guys. See you later.